Today I'm reviewing the Kiss of Night Bat Pendant by Alchemy Gothic. This comes on one of those 18 inch chains. It's usually around $15. If you're seeing it for more, keep looking. Um, it's very small. This more for, um, it's actually designed, I think, for the people who are more minimalist or if you are out and can't really be spooky or whatever and you just kind of want to have your own little spooky token. This is a cute little bat who's small, unobtrusive, still full of 3D personality and nice detail. Um, I'm going to show him, but I can also insert a picture because the picture looks a lot bigger. Um, these 3D on the back. And what I like is he's got like a slide. It's not a link like at the top or he's not connected to the chain. He's got this interesting slide on the back where he's connected um, basically on his back to this chain. And that's kind of a different Alchemy Gothic setting, but he looks like a couple of other larger Alchemy Gothic bats, some of which I've reviewed actually in um, style and kind of construction. He's just a mini version. He's really cute and very detailed. First got him, I was like, he looked way bigger in the picture, which I will insert here. See, that don't look like this that much, does it? Like, yeah, this is very tiny. Um, and I was kind of like, that's not exactly what I wanted. And then I thought about something else that I can do with him, which is actually why I'm going to keep him um, instead of like reselling him or something. Um, I wanted a bat for a while that is on like a gemstone bracelet because I love my different gemstones and I have a lot that are charms and they swing and move and that's great except if I'm wearing like stackables like these little like this whole row of tennis bracelets I've got going on right now with the red and green and clear like Freddy and clear so yeah um and then I don't really want a charm just kind of like it can look good but it can you know mess up the flow here of like the straight you know, line of bracelets. It's just if I want that without a charm dangle. And I couldn't really find um, what I wanted in a bat bracelet that just had the bat as a center design, you know, that was smaller, like I wanted. And usually when I can't find exactly what I want, I make it. So that's what I'm doing with this. And I will show you guys um, what I'm using. I got some garnets from Etsy. It's just a strand. They're really nice, faceted. They call them star cut, but they're just kind of like, these garnets actually kind of come in this shape naturally. And red and bats are kind of cool together. So I am going to make a bracelet and then I will, these are a really good deal too. Um, I will go into where I got these if you're interested in these garnets for any projects of your own. I'll show you um, the seller's info and whatnot. But I wanted to just talk about the bat first in case you're not interested and you can still get what you need. But it's one solid piece. It's not going to come off the chain by a link breaking. And I like that. If you do want to just wear it as a pendant, the slide on the back is making it very solid little light piece um, it hangs nicely and if you are into small delicate dainty stuff you know you will like that or if you do wire wrapped rings um, in my Halloween five Halloween DIYs from I think 2016 yeah it was um, I showed how to do rings like making rings out of beading wire and you could put that in the middle if you wanted a kind of bat ring he would be good for that with the slide on the back you can do so much with this little bat and he is really cute with a lot of personality for a small bat. Um, I will say for the price, I've seen cheaper, you know, in just small bats like that. But not with this slide on the back. They're all dangles. And he's just got a lot of personality and detail. Alchemy Gothic always puts such great artwork into their pieces. So um, this chain, by the way, does have the little links where you can make it shorter, put the lobster claw in a different part if you're actually going to wear it. Um, you could make it like a choker or whatever. I have my cat choker on now from Alchemy Gothic as well, so yeah. But um, yeah, it's such a versatile, cute little piece, but like I said, I got it to make a bracelet, and now I will show you that. And now here is him as a bracelet, or here he is as a bracelet. I'm about to go to bed, you guys. I just needed to get this done because I wanted to wear the bracelet and I wanted to show you the pendant first. So um, I got the garnet beads from Tang Beads on Etsy and they do wholesale and these are undyed, untreated garnets, a nice faceting, which is really nice um, because a lot of garnets are dyed and treated and these are a really good quality for a good deal. So I will give you the link below. I got a half strand, which is what you need for one bracelet but they also have bigger quantities and wholesale if you would like them. And this is just kind of a quick at the end to show you guys that. And you, you know, I'm stacking it with other bracelets. There's no charm, there's no dangle. And he's a cute little bat centerpiece. Isn't he adorable? Yay, I don't usually say things are adorable, but he's so little and cute, he is like. And you know, that's not a bracelet you're gonna find online ready-made. So it didn't cost that much, just seven for these and then 15 for him. And I can reuse or resell the chain. So that is cool. 
So I hope you enjoyed and found it useful, thought-provoking, spooky, whichever, all three. And until next time, stay spooky, my friends.